these things do happen. When you panic, you will become a casualty. And others around you will become casualties. So listen, we're not talking about a time that, the, that, that people have been speaking about for years. So no one should panic. The first thing you need to do is say, okay, I'm with the Most High. Let me examine this. Let me lay back. Let me let the Most High work with me on this. And, and I'll get this done through the power of the Most High. Not through the power of man. Man can't even save themselves. Read. That ye be not soon shaken in mind, or be troubled, neither by spirit or by word, nor by letter, as from us. And Paul says, and not by letters from us. Because some people become fearful when they hear certain teachings that are coming out. We're not saying this to give people the spirit of fear. We're teaching for preparation. Read. <clears throat> as that the day of Christ is at hand. The day of Christ is at hand. It's at hand, brothers and sisters. It's working. Read. Verse 3. Let no man deceive you by any means. For that day shall not come, except there be a falling away first. And we fell away first as a people. Israel had to go into total darkness. And that's what happened. And then what? And that man of sin be revealed. And we have revealed according to the uh, according to the scriptures that man of sin. Which is behind the Catholic Church. Which are behind all religions in the earth. Which are behind financing all the religions and the corporate complex. The Jewish powers which are the serpent people. <coughs> they are the serpent people. So they're being revealed. They don't care if you know now because with the money, they control the armies. They don't care what you think now. They have gangsterized the whole earth. If you own the weapons, you control the territory. That's how they operate. They got control of the money to get control of the weapons. To control the people. Read. And that man of sin be revealed. The son of perdition. The son of perdition. Read. Who opposeth and exalteth himself above all that is called the most high. Who exalteth himself above all that is called the most high. They're over there in Israel today exalting themselves. But they're not following the law, statutes, and commandments. Of the Bible, they have exalted exalted themselves as as God's people. Read, or that is worshipped, so that he, as the Most High, sitteth in the temple of the Most High, showing himself that he is the Most High. And they are building a temple over there now. Harad refurbished a temple, the second temple. Of the Maccabees. He refurbished it. And allowed Gentiles to come in. And defiled it. They're about to do it again. All these things are working. At one point. See and our problem is. We're looking at things strictly in chronological order. Not seeing. That they're working from different angles. It's one thing one day. Another thing the other. Another thing the next. It's all happening at once. We're in the time of our Lord. Read. Verse 5. Rem remember ye not that when I was yet with you, I told you these things. <coughs> and now ye know that withholdeth, with, with, withholdeth that he might be revealed in this time. For the mystery of iniquity doth already work. The mystery of iniquity was working like we mentioned before. In Paul's time, it was the Roman Empire. Satan was operating with the Romans. The Romans were being controlled by the money changers. The money changers are your Zionists that control the earth 
and the industrious com the industrial complex and the corporate complex that's established in the earth today. They have been revealed. They can't hide themselves no more under Judaism. They can't hide themselves. They have a track record of warfare, destruction, immorality, and have heightened evil in the earth. Have taken a country and have placed Satan's seat in our holy land. He's being revealed. He's been revealed. So we're not going to be shaken. We understand that this must happen. And only he who let will let it until he be taken out of the way. He will lose. He will lose. Even if we lose our mortal bodies in what's to come. If we stay with Christ, we win. And that's the spirit we must be in. Brothers and sisters have to get out of the panic mode. And say, you know what? Let me get in a place in which I'm, I'm totally confident in the Most High. And what he need me to do. Therefore, wherever he guide me, I'll be okay. That's the spirit in which we must operate with each other. Not to be shaken. Not to be afraid. It's coming. And it's not like I'm relishing in this. It's not like I'm, I'm elated that tens of millions of people will have to die. You know, in order for us to receive this salvation that's coming. I mean, I, I mention it all the time. Sometimes you want to wake up and think that this was just a bad nightmare. That, you know, we, we were just brought, we, you know, we were just born in a time and we woke up and it was, everything is fine. But that's not the world we were born in. We were born in the time of the end. This is where we are. <clears throat> we had no control over being here at this time. So we can't be shaken. It's going to go down. They're going to put restrictions all over the place. I told the brother at the radio station today. There's no such thing as terrorism. The only reason they're trying to stop people from going to the Middle East and labeling people in the Middle East terrorism, to terrorists. Because they know according to scripture it's prophesied that the sons of Jacob will begin migrating back. That's what it's all about. We have to come together and bring forth the Most High's people so that they can be used in that time and that place that the Most High want them to be. And that's Jew and Gentile alike. Even Gentiles. Gentiles. Follow the gospel. Follow the spirit. Follow the truth. And you come help the sons of Jacob. So that we can relish in this kingdom together. Faith without works is dead. Everyone is talking about, talking about following the Most High. And I love the Most High. But how many people are actually out there doing works. To bring forth the kingdom. Christ didn't just sit at a table someplace. And talk about the kingdom. He set the precedent. He went out. He didn't care what people thought. He did what he had to do. Because he was taking care of his father's business. We all have a job to do. Jew and Gentile alike. We have to serve the most high in spirit and in truth. And be prepared. One other thing I, I want to bring out. 